love him. Why are you so worried? I don't know. I, I feel kind of responsible, you know, for Cubby's coming to Wilson. Your whole crew moved here with the Silverstone production. Yeah, I know, but Cubby's not just a special effects whiz. He's my partner. He took care of me back when we were in Hollywood. All right, dudes, I, uh, I got a bail. But uh, before I go, I've got a made-to-order boom ka boom <laughs> All right, now, for a groovy special effects explosion, you need the perfect mixture of light, of smoke, fire, and just enough flash to make it look dangerous. Okay, so we start with uh, about three thumbnails of smoke, a scooch of spark maker, a little flash, oh, and, and noise. You gotta have just the littlest bit of noise. Well, maybe a lot of noise. Yeah, that's it. Uh, Mr. Cubby, the element that you called spark maker, is that aluminum, titanium, or, or something else? Uh, I, I, Dude, uh, I do the same uh, thing when Ms. Haney I, I, asks I, I, me a science question. I, mm. I, I actually, I, I, I actually just uh, scraped the paint off the soda pop can. <laughs> um, oh, right, uh, the, the explosion. Okay. Um, dudes, I am a paid professional. Do not do this at home. That's me, Jed Jackson. On my TV show, I play the ultimate action hero, Silverstone. Yeah. Yes. Being a TV star is cool, but to tell you the truth, I miss being a regular kid. So I convinced the network to move the show back to my hometown in North Carolina. Now I can hang with my friends. I spend a lot more time with my family and still get to see my mom online from LA. Hey, I'm just trying to live my life as a regular kid, but people still think of me as the famous Jed Jackson. Cousin, are you okay? What happened? She happened. She's totally amazing. She? She who? Oh, Miss Haney? The science teacher? A teacher? Oh, man, oh, man. No wonder she's so smart. She totally blew me away. Well, uh, if you like her, why not ask her out? I, I don't know, man. She's No, she's like... Totally granular, you know? And I was never, you know, in Joe's school. I mean, the idea of going out with a teacher, that totally discombobulates me. It's uh, too strange. Uh, I gotta go clean up. I don't get it. Cubby's smart. Oh, I know it. He just doesn't know it. Definitely doesn't show it. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Haney went to MIT and got a bachelor's in education from Berkeley. I don't know. Hey, hey. okay, be cool, man. <sighs> Cubby's got smart covered. We just need to smooth them out a little. You know, give him a little style. She's a scientist. She doesn't want style. She wants science. Then we will give her science. Cubby, hold up, hold up. Hey, dudes. Hey, on this. Hey, man. Miss Haney? She likes you. She does? Uh, I, I mean, she will. If you're into it, meet me at my house after school. Uh, what's the plan, Rodan? We're gonna make you into the scientist of her dreams. Science! Whoa. <laughs> All right, we gotta find Kayla. What for? And she is a walking textbook when it comes to science. If anybody can make Cubby sound like a brain, she can. All right.
what's what? what? Music, I guess. How does music coming over the phone make your arthritis act up? Gotta go now, Millie. I got company, that's why. Yes, a man. Mama, your breeze works. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll wait in the van. I'm, I'm, I'm hanging, I'm hanging up now. You better take the phone from me here before you have a earache, too. How are you doing, Miss Coretta? I'm fine, Cubby. You would look at the jet. He's not gonna be here until after three o'clock. Oh, yeah, yeah, that whole school thing. That's cool. I'll come back later. No, why don't you just stay here and keep me company? I am so sick and tired of my old bitty friends moaning about their aches and their pains. I guess that's what happens when you get over 80 years old. Oh, no way. Do that, do that. 80 should be radical. Well, according to my friends, it's surgical. Maybe it's me. Maybe I have just seen everything there is to see. You, you ever get that feeling sometimes that your life just needs a little zing? Oh, man, Miss Deuteretta, I totally grok your funk. Yeah, but you want to know what I do when I'm feeling a paler shade of blue? in my day, but I've never seen anything like that. What'd you say it is? This is tofu. Oh, what? Foo. And this is nature's most totally perfect food. Hey, anybody home? We're back here, honey. Yo, que la! How's that? Hey, Cubby. Miss Coretta. Tofu. Now I'm gonna make tofu burgers, Dudarina. Gotta do my part since I am moving in. Moving in? Mm-hmm. Uh, Jet didn't say you were moving in. I know, but I figure if he's gonna make me some kind of like, science dude, that's gonna take a while. Oh no, I'm here for the long haul. Anyway, Jet had stopped by the library, but he's on his way. So, why don't we get the transformation started, dude? Okay. All right. Stand back, amigos. Hot pan, cold oil, ancient Chinese secret. Okay, now. Okay. You have this under control. Boy, I can fry anything. Even these goo burgers. Now you scoop. Dude, it sounds risky. There's a big difference between looking smart and being smart. But you already are smart. Yeah, we're just talking about changing the package a little. Then Kayla's gonna bring Miss Haney by the set tomorrow for a tour. And you will win her over with your whole new look. And a new vocabulary. From now on, no more boom powder. No more boom powder? No more boom powder. It's time to talk like a scientist, Cub. And we will do the rest. to making a TV show. There's a lot. Makeup, grips, cameramen, special effects. Oh, special effects. Uh, will there be any special effects today? Of course. Cuppy's world is right over there. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Hey, hey, Cubby, look, it's, it's Miss Amy. Uh. Um, uh, Miss Haney? 
This is Cubby. Hi. Yeah. Y you do remember Cubby? Yeah, of course. Hi. Uh, you changed. <laughs> well, uh, that's because Cubby was putting on a character for the kids. <laughs> yeah, he's actually a very serious scientist. Yes, indubitably. Well, um, maybe Miss Haney would like to see what you're doing there, Cubby. Yeah, actually, uh, this is pretty cool. I'm, uh, I'm whipping a mask up out of this uh, rubber batter. Uh, science. Good. Of course, it's not simply rubber batter. It is a, a silicon-based compound made from silicone. Yes. Thank you. Interesting. Oh, um, uh, I'll bet that Miss Haney would like to see that explosion again, wouldn't you, Miss Haney? Yeah. You know the one from the demonstration? Yeah. Show her how that was supposed to go. Title can do, man. So, um, uh, what's the chemical formula for this explosion? Um. Actually, it's just a little bit of these uh, uh, colored stuff. Uh, estronium salts. Uh, just a, a pinch or a, a milligram. A cent cent oh. Fire in the hole! Uh, Jeff said it wasn't that bad. <laughs> I blew it. Totally. Guess what I made? Tofu pie. Oh. What do you think? Mm. Radical. Radical. But I would add just a touch of cinnamon. My goodness, Cubby. I didn't realize what a, a handsome young fella you are. Oh. Oh. Y you're what they call a hunk. That's it. The science thing, Bond, but the hunk thing. Hunk thing? Oh, I don't know, Jet. You gotta have a cool rap to pull off a suit like this. I mean, this is a Silverstone costume, you know? You'd have to talk like, uh, you know, Silverstone. We know. You gotta wear the earpiece. This is the suit we used when Silverstone had a surveillance mission. Remember? Oh. Yeah, you rigged a microphone into this button and a spy cam into this Oh, one. so you're gonna... And I'm gonna be a... Oh! <laughs> yeah, with me whispering in your ear, the rap is gonna be tied up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go big or go home. Over. Now remember, baby. Smooth. Smooth. Yeah, yeah. Smooth. Right, there you go. Oh, 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 it's got her. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh. oh. Dude, dude, I'm sorry. I was trying to help you. That's okay, um, Toby. Sorry. You look, um, different again. Oh, yeah, I, uh... Oh, hey! You like the rollerblades? Yeah. Cool. I got the, uh, the go nail. Uh -huh. And, um, I'm pretty good at stopping, too. On Saturday, I'm gonna skate down the hill at Ridge Road, so that'll be the test. Cool. I mean, you know, I, I, I did blading, too, and I was... Cubby, like this, like this. Yeah, baby, I was wondering if I could yeah. blade by your place <laughs> later on this evening, then. I'll sweep you off your feet. <laughs> baby, if we could, I could rather blade by your house some night and uh, sweep you off your feet. Um, we got her, man, and sing. If that would be agreeable. If that would be, if that would be agreeable. Good one. Yeah, I know, right? Psych. Cubby, uh, I've always been I've fascinated, always been, uh, by, fascinated the by the French, as I find them so very uh, fascinating. While I was there, I, I fell by the Sorbonne for a bit for of a, a, bit of a brush chemistry brush-up. You've been to Paris? Oh, the hair's beautiful. Oh, it's incredible. But, 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 if Paris were a woman, she would fail. Fail. Pale. Pale. Next to your beauty. I didn't realize that the Sorbonne offered a degree in pyrotechnics. Oh, it's it's a little something the uh, French call pyrotechnic. Right. Oh, you're taking too long, buddy. Come on, ask her, ask her, man. Don't get all aggro, dude. I'm on it. Now, Kobe, now! She's brailing, man. She is brailing. Dude, please. I can handle it, okay? I'm in, I'm in the pipe. All right, everything is under control. Miss Haney, 
This might not be, like, the best time, but I was wondering if maybe you, uh, you know, would want to go out with me sometime. Oh, Cubby, I'm sorry. Uh, you're a really interesting guy, but I, I really don't think we have much in common. Yeah, you're right. You know, that's what I thought, too. I hope you understand. Oh, sure, sure, you know. Just a minor setback, okay? Uh, next time we'll have the whole thing. man, there isn't gonna be a next time, okay? Let's face it, you know? Nerdy, smooth, whatever. She doesn't want me, man. Well, where are you gonna go? Oh, uh, look, dude, man. You gave it a good shot, but it's for certain, man. Willstead and me. <laughs> you know, maybe it's time I head back out to Hollywood, man. You know, check on a couple of my options there. Make a couple of phone calls, you know? Hey, dude, it's cool, man. It's cool. That science teacher of yours must be some picky woman. That boy is a find. Who? Oh. Cubby. He taught me how to cook tofu anything. Play that air guitar. <laughs> you better play that funky music, Nana. <laughs> oh, Cubby was just with us for a couple of days, but I sure will miss his company. He had a kind of personality that made you feel like he was family as soon as you met him. Yeah. Yeah, he sure does. Hey, Gubby. Uh, hey, Jack. Hey, I haven't seen you around that much lately. No, I've been, I've been working, you know. Been busy. Kind of come up with some cool stuff for the show before I, you know, uh, before I bail. Man, I, I really don't want you to go. Yeah, this is I... actually... You should check this out. This is for the one when uh, when Silverstone goes undercover on a hiking expedition, right? I mean, it looks like just a normal backpack, right? But in actuality, it's a jetpack, right, dude? No, you make your getaway by uh, flying off a cliff. A cubby, cubby, we gotta talk, man. Now look, dude, you don't have to say anything, okay? I mean, you tried, but dude, uh, I don't fit in here. And as for Miss Haney, man, I think she's really cool and all, but, you know, if I gotta change that much, man, maybe it's not worth it. Hey, remember the first time I came to L.A.? <laughs> remember how hard I tried to act like a big star? <laughs> you saw right through that. Hey, remember what you said to me? Uh, I said if you want to get your toes to the nose, you gotta learn to lean back. <laughs> you know I had no clue what that meant. But then I started watching you. You know you were never anything but Cubby, no matter what. And that's what people liked about you. So I stopped trying so hard. Started concentrating on just being me. I did all that? Yeah. Uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is, I don't want you to leave. And I shouldn't have tried to change you. Hey, you're perfect the way you are. Just keep being cubby. A solid gem. Solid. Oh, oh. And as far as Miss Haney goes, she liked you at the demonstration. I'm telling you, she liked you. So. She's never seen the real Cubby since. Who knows? <laughs> Ridge Road Hill.
Do that. Are you okay? Are you kidding me? I haven't had this much fun since college. That rock. You rock. No, you rock. No! Who the thunk it? Not me, that's for sure. <laughs> Not after the way we screwed it up. What do you mean we? <laughs> <laughs> They're together practically every day now. Oh, I know. He meets her after school. She visits him here on set. So romantic. <laughs> Think it'll work out? Work out fine if they don't blow each other up first. <laughs> now that you move like a woofu, you have to look like a woofu. Woo fight! That's what I call mouthing off. Keep an eye on that one. Yin Yang Yo, brand new Saturday mornings at 10:30, 9:30 Central on Disney XD. Yeah.